Hey, how y'all doing out there in YouTube land? This is Stiletto, coming at you from the Wild Wild West, and I see my co-host is coming to join, Juno. How's everybody doing out there? Everybody doing good? I hope we're finding you in good health. Well, today is part six. That's right, part six. Part six of the roll videos for my Cold Steel Mega Rolls. <clears throat> And my favorite folders from Cold Steel. And today we're going to be doing stilettos. Tie light sixes. And the tie lights. Oh, Juno's coming to take over the show. What you doing, sweetie? We got to get this party started. We don't have too much battery life. We got, you know, we got to take advantage of our battery life there, kiddo. I haven't even started yet. Uh-huh. That's my girl. That's my girl. Okay, kid, I'm gonna set you down on the floor. Want some kisses? Okay, sweetie. All right. All right, so first we're gonna have a little prequel to it, though. I wanna discuss the reason why I like tie lights and tie light sixes in particular. Tie light sixes are, are my favorite ones out of the tie lights. But anyway, let's go ahead and set these rolls aside. These are the rolls of the tie lights. These are my two rolls of tie lights. And these are some of my old school knives that I was collecting long before I collected tie lights, long before tie lights even existed. That's when I collected these. After tie lights existed, I didn't collect these no more. <laughs> but these are the knives that, you know, some of the knives I was collecting before tie lights. I have, a, I have a couple of rolls of these. And these are just some of my favorite ones of those rolls that I picked out to show y'all. And just to show you that, the, you know, the reasons why I like the tie lights. Let's start out with some of the, these autos. This is Armando Beltrami. AB, Armando Beltrami. Made in Maniago, Italy. By the Beltramis. You got horn handles. This is a 13 inch stiletto. Thirteen is one of my favorite sizes. As you all know, the Tylite 6 is a 13 inch. They also made them in 15 inch and 17 inch. I think they even had like 19 and like maybe a 21 too. Super giant ones. But I didn't care for the 15 inch. 15 inch, the blade starts getting wider and it starts to look more like a, um, a Counterpoint 1. I mean, a Counterpoint XL. The 13 inch is like the last of the narrow ones. I also like the 11 inch. 11 inch is one of my favorite sizes too. This one has a dagger grind. I don't know how thick these are. But I'm gonna guess that they're like probably like a 3.2 or 3.3. Let's measure and find out really quick. Just so you can compare it to the new models of the, the new type of slows I like, the tie lights. Zero. Oh, about 3.5 millimeter. It says 3.4 something. 3. Point, no, it says 3.5. So three and a half millimeters. They're three and a half millimeters thick. And all of them are, have like the same thickness. So you know, all these are, all 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 these knives are made in the same place, pretty much. They're all made in Maniago, Italy. Even the ones I have here that are German ones, like the Kissing Cranes. The parts for the kissing cranes come from Maniago, Italy, from Falcon, from Falcon, uh, from Falcon Knives, part of um, Automatic Knife Company, AKC. They're, they're a manual knife division. It's called Falcon Knives, and they also make the parts for the German German manual stilettos, kissing cranes, the old ones. Now, kissing cranes made in China. <clears throat> they're not made in Germany no more. They used to get. Uh, they used to get the. They used to be made in Solid in Germany. They they get the parts from Maniago Italy, from Falcon Knives, from Angela Campolone's company, 
and they, they would send the, the parts to, to Germany and then they'd be assembled in Germany. But now they're totally just made in China. So these are, to me, these are worth a lot more than the old ones. All right, let's get one more look at this one and we're gonna set it aside. This is gonna be part one of two parts for my um, stilettos. I'm gonna show the, I'm gonna do this part first so everybody can understand why I like these knives. And here's one that's made by um, by a, a AKC. This is a manual stiletto. It says Falcon Italy on the on the blade tang. Falcon is the manual knife division. And the reason why I know that so well is because I used to buy these knives from, from Italy and sell them on eBay back in the day, back in the 90s. And these are these the manual ones that you see here are the ones that are left over from the ones I used to sell on the eBay that I kept for myself. When I decided I wasn't going to sell anymore, I was doing something else. Remember I got in this trading, day trading and then I started doing that for a little while. All right. This is a Kiss and Crane, another 13 inch. This one has genuine deer stag handles. All these knives are hand put together by hand. The, the parts are stamped and, and made in you know factories and stuff like that, but the, they're all assembled by hand. None of these knives are exactly the same. Even the same models, they're, they're always a little bit different from each other. That's how things are when they're, made, when they're done by hand. They're never exactly the same anymore. This is a Kissing Crane crit, Kiss, uh, Chris, I'm sorry, Chris. This is a 9 inch, a 4 inch blade, 5 inch handle. Again, Deer Stag with brass bolsters and liners. Solid brass bolsters and liners, should I say. A lot, of the, a lot of the things that you see made in China, they'll be like brass plated. They won't be solid brass like these. That's like the difference. The, the fitment and stuff is still good, but but the um, I don't know, just the the way things are made is just not as nice. Did we do this one? Did we do the acrylic? This is acrylic one. I used to have these in all kinds of different colors. And this is the last ones. Cause I don't really have hardly any acrylics no more. Because I pretty much kept all the wood ones and the the, the ones with the um, stag handles. I like those the best. <laughs> but I sort of wish I would have kept more different colors of the acrylics. At least maybe like a red, white, and blue set. That would have been cool. This is another, um, this is 11 inch. Oh, this is the 11 inch. One of my favorite sizes right here. Five inch blade, six inch handle. This has palisandro wood, it's like Italian palisandro wood. And this is my little one. I can't remember, I think this one's like a seven inch. Three inch blade, four inch handle, but it looks bigger than that. Let's measure it out. <clears throat> it looks like the blade's over three inches. And you see, total nine. Oh, it is a seven inch. And the blade is a three and three and an eighth. It's just a little bit over three inches. Probably because it's so long and slender, it looks like it's bigger than it is. It's like an optical illusion. I've always liked the crisp blades. That's why I pulled these out so you can see some of the crisp blades. I used to have a 13 inch crisp blade, but I sold it. Somebody wanted it and I sold it. I had a 15 inch one too, and I sold that one too. I wish I wouldn't have, but <clears throat> that was back in the day and when I didn't have so much money and I used to buy and sell, buy and sell things all the time. I'd find good deals on things and people would always want to buy them off me for more than I paid for them. So that's sort of like a little side hustle that I used to have back in the day. All right. Well, that's, oh, did we show you all these? Let me see. This is a German Hubertus. 
I think this one's 11 inch. Let's measure this one really quick. Can't remember. Oh no, it's 10, a little bit over 10 inches. Almost 10 and a quarter. It has a crisp blade. These blades come totally unsharpened. Totally unsharpened. And it's never been sharpened. It's just the way it is from the factory. Maybe they just meant it for stabbing. <laughs> the other model I have, it's, still, it's in the safe, I couldn't find it. I, I, I was trying to find it for you guys. It has a, um, what I would call the standard blade, which is sort of like a, um, a drop point or a spear shaped blade that's flat ground. And that was like the utilitary, utility blade that was on a lot of automatics, stilettos. If you wanted to use your knife for actual, you know, cutting tool. These were fast. Those are fast. This one right here is a custom. I can't remember who it was made by. Because it doesn't have any markings on it. Because, you know, it's a custom. Somebody... Somebody, I can't remember who was doing it, but back in the day, somebody used to get these and then they'd customize them and sell them on Bladebit. Bladebit used to be an auction site that was for autos and all kinds of balisons and kind of knives that you couldn't get anywhere else. That's where everybody used to sell and buy and trade all the time. That was a place I used to like to hang out until they ended it. It was ran by PBK. They still exist. This, that's where I got this one. All of my autos pretty much came from Bladebit. All the manuals came straight from Italy to my house. And all, all, I'm, I'm sitting there treating it like it's a pick lock. It's not a pick lock, it's a bolster lock. All right. Let's show you the back side of it. All the file work has a Damascus blade, deer stag handles. This is just a standard switch blade though because it just has um, stainless steel bolsters. The standard, the standard um, switch blades, which like this is a standard, this is a standard, and then this isn't. This one has um, silver bolsters and this one has silver bolsters. This one has silver bolsters also, Nic nickel silver. And we did this one, I believe. Yep, that's the AB. The other one, the other big um, dagger I have, the daggers are my favorite. The daggers, I like the daggers and the crisp blades the best. Then I like the bayonets. Daggers, crisp blades, and bayonets are pretty much my favorite stiletto blades. This one has um, bullhorn handles, hand fitted bullhorn handles. This one is made by Angela Capalone and um, it's an AKC knife from Maniago, Italy. Yeah, made in Italy stainless steel. This one says, I think this one says Enox. It says Stiletto Italy. I don't say anything. I don't see anything. So I remember saying it Enox. Two different blade stamps. And those are like in the in the eighties and nineties. I don't know about now because I've been sort of out of the you know collecting Italian stilettos for a while now, like twenty years or so. <clears throat> but the the ones that you would see the most of that were like the premium ones were the Beltramis, you know, either Frank or or Armando, or the AKCs. And that's what these are. These would have been the, these would have been the. Thing that everybody would have wanted back in the, in the 90s and 80s when they wanted a switchblade, Italian switchblade. And the ones with the black bullhorn handles were always the most popular, and the stag handles were popular too. That's why I, I kept those, you know, they were like the, the most desired back in the day. This one, 
Oh, this is the Frank B. Frank Beltrami. He's like Angelo Campolone. He's like the OG of, the, of their company. Armando, I think, is his son, if I'm not mistaken. Son or nephew or something like that. But he's like the elder. Frank B's the elder. I think he's, I'm not sure if he's still alive. And I'm, I'm, I think, I'm going to say he's still alive. Illy Enox, but he may not be. I don't know. It says Illy Enox on it. Enox is what you'd see stamped on the old Italian knives. A lot of the more modern ones you might see, Rustfrei, Rust which is actually German for rust free. And this one is a pick lock. This is old school pick lock. And it looks like it has a three and a half millimeter blade also. But this one, to unlock this one, you have to pull up, pull up right here on it, and then push the blade at the same time. This one has nickel silver bolsters. This is an expensive one. Back in the day, I think this, I paid like $200 for this. This, this wasn't a cheap switchblade. These were like, right, right about $100. And the 11 inch ones were like around $70 to $80 back in the day. I'm pretty sure, I think the prices are probably pretty close to being pretty much what they were back then. I don't think the prices on these really changed. <clears throat> I like collecting them because where I live, these are hard to get. These are almost impossible to get from California. <laughs> I can't tell you how I got them. No. <laughs> but anyway, this is a fish model. This is a pick lock too. This is one of my old favorites. And this one's an AKC, Angelo Coppolone. Automatic Knives Company, Maniaco, Italy. It has horn handles also. I think they used to call these blonde. I think blonde horn handles, even though they look like a jade sort of green, I think that when the, when, the, <clears throat> when the horn looked like this, they, they call it blonde. And it has nickel silver bolsters, very nicely made. This one of the high end old ones. Absolutely love these. And this, this one you have to do, do like the Frank B. And this pattern was called the fish pattern. It's like a little fin on the back. It's supposed to be like a fish. More like a shark. Da, 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 da. <laughs> but anyway, this is the first part, people. We'll do the second part next. Well, the second part will be all tie lights. I just want to do a prequel to the tie lights just to show you where my love for stilettos comes from. It comes from this. I was calling myself Stiletto. You know, that, that used to be my um, eBay handle. You know, long before um, I started even buying cold steels. <laughs> and the reason why I call my stiletto, myself Stiletto is because I like stilettos, like Italian stilettos. That's where my first love came from. It was the Italian, that's the root, the root of my love for stilettos is right here. The Italian stilettos, Italian folding stilettos. Not fixed blade daggers, but I like the folding knives. And my and, the, and when I first got introduced to them was in West Side Story. <laughs> when I was a little kid in the 60s. And my first knife that I ever bought was a, a stiletto that I got out of Film Stream. I bought two of them. They were like 99 cents. And then for an extra penny, you get two. Out of the Film Stream magazines back in the 60s. It was like 1968 or so. And uh, those were my first two pocket knives. I think I was in the second grade. Absolutely love them. And I've loved them ever since. But anyway, peace out. I hope everybody's doing great. Part number two coming up. Part number two of, 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 the, of, of the part six of the, the roll series. Part six. This is still part six. But we have, part six has a, has a one and two parts. Because I had a lot to say about stilettos. I love stilettos. Peace. Stiletto.